We're going to show a second isolated strengthening exercise for the medial hamstring. And I believe this will be a very, very good exercise for either football players, soccer players, sprinters that have injured their hamstring and have a high hamstring pull. In my estimate, most of the time those hamstring pull comes not because the hamstring is too tight or too strong, but more often than not because of what's called quadriceps dominated. How do I know that? Because they have limited range of motion in the quadriceps, because they have full range of motion in their hamstring, and more often than not, the quadriceps is more developed than the hamstring. What happens now is that this put more strain on the hamstring. And so a sprinter that's going full out and is into full hip flexion and then full knee extension, in this position, the hamstring is mostly stretched out, as stretched out as it can be. And the quadriceps is fully contracted, as is the hip flexors. So, needless to say, this is the weakest position of the hamstring. Now, if you imagine that I take a rock, a heavy rock, I tie a rope around it, hold on to the rope, and then I throw the rock while I'm holding on to the rope. When the rope comes to an end, there'll be a thump in the rope. And this is what happened at the end in that hamstring that is trying to break that movement. And so having an eccentrically strong hamstring is important to prevent tearing or pulling the hamstring. And in this specific exercise, we're going to strengthen the hamstring in its weakest position. So what we have here, I've set this strap already to the right length. I've put up an inertia that I can handle. And I'm going to put this onto my ankle strap that I have here. And now, I'm going to have to wait for this one to wind up all the way. So, if to medial hamstring, I turn my foot and leg in, and I go into full stretch, and then full contraction by flexing my knee and extending my hip. And the harder I pull, the more I pull I get eccentrically. And this is how I now strengthen my hamstring eccentrically in its weakest position. So with the foot and the leg turn in, medial hamstring, here we go. Concentric, eccentric. Concentric, eccentric. Concentric, eccentric. So I believe this will be an excellent exercise to heal people that are prone to or having a medial hamstring tear. They will of course start with a very light inertia and build up. And so that's a second exercise we have for isolated strengthening of medial hamstring.